Hello everybody and welcome to my Impact Wrestling Review back with another one this week still from what is it uh St. Clair Windsor College in Ontario and what does Impact have this week hopefully it's better than last week's show because I'm sure a lot of people thought that whole bullshit with um Ken Shamrock and the Joey Ryan bullshit dick flip spot took away from uh a very actually kind of solid show out of, outside of that but um what did they have to offer this week, huh? What was going to go on this week for Impact, eh? Uh, we did kick it off, though, with the X Division uh, co- the X Division champion, who was on commentary with both uh, Josh Matthews and uh, excuse me, Don Callis, as they were about to determine the number one contender who was going to be next in line to challenge Ace Austin for the X Division championship. Pretty much almost like a six to eight man, was it six man? Um, X Division's pretty much throwing them out there in a way of a spot fest to some of the guys I didn't know. But it was Trey Miguel, Petey Williams, the Mac, Aiden Pierce, who's kind of been around there a couple times, Rohit Raju, uh, and Brent Banks, I believe. Um, I don't think I'm missing any names here. It was like six guys, I believe, though. And it's a um, whole match, at least three or four of them I do not know about, but, um... Brett Brett Banks, um, I don't know, I think that was all the guys I do remember, but, um, listen, I kind of figured who was going to win and who was not going to win in this match since it was about, what, six to, uh, seven guys, I don't think two or three of them were not even, uh, known, if I'm not mistaken. Listen, it wasn't a bad match or anything, uh, it was mostly a spot fest, I will say that. One thing they were trying to focus on was Trey Miguel's mom. Who was there at ringside uh, pretty much watching the match. And of course what did they do? They have um, Ace Austin kind of focus on his mom a lot. And we'll get to that in a second. Uh, the match ended up with um, Trey. Uh, it was a lot of spot. Pretty much a lot of finishes at the end. I just remember Petey Williams at the Canadian Destroyer. On um, one of them I believe. Uh, Next, you know, Miguel, Trey Miguel there, pretty much took the roll-up advantage over Petey Williams getting the win. So he would become the next uh, challenger for the X Division Championship. Looked like Petey was about to do something. I feel like the only time they really do bring him back is for just Canada in general. But um, he ended up winning the match. And I guess the thing to take from this was he went back to his mom. I guess she gave him a kiss. But then, you know, Ace Austin was pretty much going like, uh, hey, why don't you bring me some of that? I'll bring me some of that. And the uh, announcers pretty much called him strange. So, honestly, I believe this whole story is now going to fit with Ace Austin trying to fuck Trey Miguel's mom now. So, instead of Ace Austin 16, I just banged your wife. Now it's going to be Ace Austin 16, I just banged your mom, okay? Does Trey's mom look decent? I will say, yeah, decent. So, she looks okay. I will say that, but... uh. I guess this is now a story, and uh, now Ace Austin's gonna try to fuck someone's mom now. He fucked their wife? Well, it's still fucking her husband's wife, but you know, my husband, you know, Gail's dad and everything, but still, so you're fucking someone's wife, you're fucking someone's mom. So that's that's Ace Austin for you, I'll give you that. They also announced the Fatal 5-Way Elimination Match for who will become the next number one contender against Sammy Callahan for the Impact World Heavyweight Championship between Rich Swan. Michael Elgin, Tessa Blanchard, Daga, and, um, who else in this match? Oh, said Daga, Swan, the Mac, not the Mac, uh, Swan, Elgin, yeah, I know Elgin is in this, wow, I feel like I've let one of these guys' mind just slip my head, um, Moose, Moose, Moose. Why did I forget Moose for for some reason? It was kind of strange, but uh, Moose was going to be in a match. They did talk to Rich Swan, who people thought everyone that has always looked their nose down upon him and everything. He loves the party, but it's about to be serious now. And he remembers what Sammy Callahan was done. You know, it runs brothers and everything. But um, he's going to do it with the impossible and come to the World Heavyweight Championship. Champion, I should say. So that was his promo. Michael Elgin pretty much cut a promo talking about, you know, the bar. Someone was supposed to be up here. Sammy Kelly, I better cherish that um, championship reign. Yes, you beat Cage, but you have not beaten me, so he's coming after him next. Madison Rain went against Alexi and Nicole. Uh, that was safe from here. I heard what happened to Kier Hogan out there. 
it wasn't a bad match by any pants per se. It was just like it was kind of there to be there. Madison Rain picked up the win with the cross rain, so I thought that was okay. Solid, but did a lot of people care about this match in general? Uh, Johnny Swinger, who was, I guess, looking for a young boy and was going to apologize to Pete Williams. So, yeah, Aiden Pierce, like, he's be his young boy and everything. Talking about, I'm about to rib him right here, man. You know, about to rib him here and, uh, you know, killing the business. And I wonder what year this guy is living in right now. Talking about he's shitting someone's bag. I've heard stories like that before in shoot interviews. As uh, he says, dude, Tony, you do what you want. Um, P. Williams walked in. He says, hey, man, it's my young boy here. Um, whatever. Uh, he pretty much took his bag and left, which it was the wrong bag. And, um, pretty much Johnny Swinger wanted who took the bag full of shit in his bag and everything. Next thing you know, Ken Shamrock walked in, got his bag, pretty much said it's stinking here and stuff. But, um, you know, he was kind of like whatever and left off as Johnny Swinger looked nervous out of the whole thing. Because I guess he knows that Shamrock is now going to come after and kill him after he put shit in his bag. Since it, you know, it just smelled very dead-like, so there you go. Uh, Daga went against Jake Christ. So it was a bad match, I thought. I think more people want, um, what's his name? Yeah, wow, I'm really slipping my mind. The Chris brothers, uh, Jake Chris, I will say that. Um, sorry, I'm kind of catching my ear. I got something really bad in my ear here, okay? It's really bad. Hmm. But, yeah, so, um, Daga and, uh, Jay Chris there, um, wasn't a bad match or anything. I figured who was gonna go over, you know, person that just think, Do I don't know what to get with Daga's music with, it sounds bad, and I just think the guy has personality of a wooden board and everything when he cuts promos, so I don't know why, it just feels like the guy lacks personality and everything. Wasn't a bad match with Jay Chris, I thought he was gonna go over in general, just because Daga is in this whole title thing next week, so, um, probably the first man eliminated, for all I know. But, um, I see why he did win over Jake Chris here tonight. Um, Rob Van Dam was once again in the grotto or jacuzzi with his girlfriend Katie Forbes as she was pretty much twerking while he was cutting a promo. Made it really hard to, uh, pay attention to his promo because the ass was shaking in front of me. Um, pretty much he talked about, you know, why is he going to be back in the Impact Zone? Huh? When is he going to be back on Impact and everything? People want to know. He's there when he wants to be there, but since they need him... They'll both be there next week on Impact and going to give you uh, what's going on uh, next week, huh? So Van Dam is just cutting promos with camera cuts, you know, every few seconds for whatever he's coming on Impact. And once he's a Rhino, but, uh, you know, he's got to come back and show some people how it's done and everything going on here. So that's probably be the case of this. Um, what else? The North talked about their title match against Mara Fuji and Eddie Edwards tonight. Freeman says they're ready for anything. They want a higher competition, and they said they're not going to lose. Uh, Tessa Blanchard and Rich Swan went against Sammy Callahan and Hangman. Not Hangman. Uh, Madman Fultz almost called this man a Hangman for some reason. Um, mm. But immediately, um, Swan and Tess Primers going in charging at Callahan and Fulton throughout this match. So I wasn't really betting anything. I think that loogie stuff Callahan is pretty sick, though. Um, you know, spinning in the air and almost catching with his hand. Like he's spinning there and it came back in there. It was a little kind of disgusting. But it ended up with, um, what Tess doing a suicide dive on Fulton to the outside. Swan with the assist. Uh, pretty much Swan and Callahan were still going at it. He was trying to get his baseball bat, but the referee took it from him. Uh, Fulton threw the title in at him, which pretty much hit Swan with... I don't think we're going to complain that, you know, um, the world champion is not pinning one. Or, you know, he's getting pinned on T, which I didn't think that made a lot of sense. But, at least he does have a win right here. I'll give him that. Um, yeah, that was just to kind of compare it to that. But, um, let's see. Alarm blows or whatnot. I don't know what I'm going off from there. But, um... Yes. Well, I lost control there, but, uh, yeah, uh, pretty much near the end of this match, uh, Swan, Swan and Callahan were still left, like I said about the title, yeah, he hit him with the title, I feel like I just explained this already, uh, he, you know, blew through the bat and did that, and then they beat up Swan right after hitting him with the title, Tessa tried to make the save, but she got to hit with the title too, Brian Cage pretty much came out, so got both Callahan and Madman Fulton in, saying he's still coming for them, saying he's not waiting a long time, he's not going to let this title go or anything, so um, he is not going to be part of this whole eight-man challenge this week, so Cage has been added to the match now.
Um, what else am I going by here? But yes, Cage they also won a title shot, saying he's not left out of the title hunt. So add him to the match too. Um, so he cleared out OVE from there. They then went to. Ah, yes, Giant Springer once again talking about the dick thing, which he was telling Jimmy Jacobs in there saying, like, hey, man, I, I put some uh, poop. Why well, I say dick thing? But uh, Johnny Swinger there, I'm um, pretty much sitting saying I put the poop thing in there. It's the Biznats. He's a Mizark. So I'm sure it's going to be a match between Johnny Swinger and Ken Shamrock next week when he finds out about the shit in his bag. So there you go on that. Um, Brian Cage. I'm Brian Cage. I'm going to go on Brian Cage. I don't know why I just said that for, but um, yeah, that's what happened there. Taya was pretty much just walking around with Jane Bravo and the fake dog, saying it's not a real dog. Uh, next thing you know, Jordan Grace showed up, pretty much saying like, "Hey, I pinned you a couple weeks ago, okay? So where's my title shot?" Uh, and pretty much she was about to give one, but um, you know, Joey, uh, Mercury, uh, Johnny Mundo, Johnny Mundo, Johnny, um. Hennigan? What what was this guy's name? Stifler? I don't know, man. He pretty much tried to get a... I guess one a match between her and... Uh, f you know, Grace there saying that they, she, they, do both ba they do not both have any type of chance. So, uh, there you go. But she accepted it anyways. Uh, Moose, which I thought was probably one of the funny segments of tonight. Uh, talking about how he's one of the greatest athletes. A multi-sport athlete of all time. Wrestler, MMA fighter. So he's out in the court playing tennis. And he has this guy. How long have you been playing tennis, man? 20 plus years. And then, you know, he looked at the guy and says, listen, man, it'd be a shame if someone broke your neck right now multiple times, okay? And as he looked on from him, pretty much you still have to play the record from him and everything. But, um, pretty much, you know, threaten him and everything until they kind of caught when the, when the guy, I feel like, got in trouble for it. So there you go on that. Um, but, Mm, wow, I'm really starting to feel like I'm losing some credit on this today. I don't know why. But, um, I'm going to learn the Jordan Grace part. I kind of went through the whole title thing in Texas right now. Havoc went, ended up going against this girl in the ring, which pretty much ended in a squash match because Havoc kept doing the tombstone on her. Pretty much running into Susie backstage saying she knows her, but then had these conflicting images in her head. I guess proving that she's crazy and slowly we'll get her mind back to become Bray Wyatt again. So there you go. Uh, the main event, though. The North and Mar Fuji and Eddie Edwards was actually a really good match to end off of the entire main event, I felt like, especially getting about 16, 17 minutes out there. I figured um, Mayor Fuji and them were going to win, but they kind of protected him by him not taking the pinfall, but they had um, Eddie Edwards take the pinfall from at this point in time. So that's what I can really say when it comes to Impact tonight, though. But I don't know, they really got to do something about the uh, basketball uh, short star or whatnot or whatever they're trying to afford off of it. But I don't know, I feel like I'm trying to talk in circles right now what was going on in here and stuff. But I did explain the main event to um, Impact tonight. It was actually a really good main event. I recommend go back and, back and look at it. But I don't never really thought the North was ever going to lose the championships until some other good team comes along. But I don't know what's going on right now with the team department. Let's put the Rascals back out there. But I guess one is going after the X Division title right now. We'll see what happens from this, okay? But other than that, I'm done with this review. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys. Uh, peace. Not long as usual. But, you know, I'm just kind of going by what I've seen tonight. It wasn't a bad show um, in particular. Maybe some bad parts and everything. Unless they still got some things to fix on um, Impact and stuff. But I don't know the stuff. I thought the Johnny Swinger thing was kind of funny. Since he put poop in his bag. And I'm sure they're going to be in a match next week. But um, I know Daniel Ryan can fans on, online. Um, what am I saying online for? Well, you know, I must be tired. Because I feel like I'm seeing other random stuff through this. But yeah, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought about Impact tonight. Yeah, I thought it was a pretty good show. I thought it was decent at best. It wasn't nothing really bad going on. It just builds into next week to see who will become the number one contender against uh, Sammy Callahan for the title. So a lot of stories were pretty much intermixing and stuff of who wants that championship. And now Cage is added to the mix too. So we will see what comes from this though. I will say that. Um, trying to think if there's anything else to remember. Um, 
Yeah, the, the, the Spot Fest exhibition match was pretty good, too. I just don't know if Ace Austin's gonna fuck his mom and that, so there you go. I don't know, but other than that, I'm gonna end this review right here. I'm out. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Tell me what you thought about Impact tonight. I thought it was a little quicker of the show to get through, all right? I thought it was. Maybe because it was at 8 o'clock, I guess, and just those two hours flew by, all right? But other than that, that's my review of Monday Night Raw. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Wow, it's not a, I feel like it's not a lot of information to uh, go off on, though, no, on this show. Unless I'm missing something. Must not. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's my review, though, tonight. Yeah, people. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.